Here All right, so we're here in the shipping container. Here we are. So Brittany, show us around. Here we are. All right, so um, this is our shipping station. This is like kind of last step. Um, and this is where they actually yeah. go out. This is from? where, yeah, we have like, we'll put them in a, I have to. We have this cool little machine, so they all get a little poly mailer. We kind of look them over. They all get a tag, and this machine is cool because it seals their package with like a little puff. So when both sides are sealed, it like puts them in this little like puff thing, so they can't get you know squished. And these are the uh, metallics. This is tie dye. Oh, so tie dye. Every month we have throwback um, leathers of the month. So those were all previously released at some other time. Um, and we kind of rotate them through. It's kind of a way for our customers to see some of their favorites. And what's nice about it is by the time they return, they, uh, you know, their son or daughter probably outgrew the previous pair. So they're ready for a new one or, you know, they're, you know, these are all those customizations that I was talking about inside, you know, different fringe styles and bow styles and you get to pick it all. Wow. You get to pick whatever you want, however you want. Um, this is like our more standard style here you know just keeping it plain jane is what we say it's a plain jane pair but you know this these are ones that are done sewing that have been flipped they just have to be tied but you know your little add-ons that you can do and yeah this is this is it so this table on any given day will have 50 to 100 mocks on it we push them down um the kids during you know staying at home these past couple of months decided that they wanted to make keychains was their idea the kids so my kids are already like having that little entrepreneurial drive and so these are what they worked with dad and came up with so now our customers can pick leather colors and they know that my boys designed these and oh man that's yeah we so already cute. had the little cutouts because it's what we use for some of our Mary Jane styles. It's already a heart. And so the boys just come out here and play with leather and help us out. But they get all the credit for those. Wow. Yep. So, yeah, this is stuff that's waiting to be shipped out. This is one of five sewing machines. So when I had that little sewing machine from Amazon that broke, and I got a new one. And it took me breaking it about three times before Jeff said, this just isn't going to work. <laughs> so <laughs> he came home with this. It was St. Patrick's Day about a year in. And it was like the coolest thing. I'm like, how did we afford this? And he's like, don't worry about it. You're, you'll be able to figure it out, I promise. So now we have five. I typically have one that has white thread. I have one that typically has black thread in it. Um, just because this has 17 entry points in order to thread the needle. Um, which look at me, I know all about that. Now. I know. I'm like, what? did you <laughs> yeah. teach yourself all of that? I do. And actually it's been however many years. And when I do go to swap out thread color, I still keep the thread in and follow the existing one just because I don't want to mess it up. Um, because sewing machines are pretty finicky. So, yeah. and then over here, you, this is where you actually go live. This every is, this is our our area that um, has kind of evolved over the two years that we've been in here. This used to be a just white wall, and then we did the sticky tile wood finish on it. Um, and it was actually, if you remember, was it last summer we had a couple earthquakes? Yes. Um, one of the fake sticky tiles fell on me during a live. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, we're getting rid of this wall. <laughs> like, we got to put something more permanent. So this was Jeff. He, he did all this. I had a company make these for us, which is really super fun. Um, they actually light up from the back. And so depending on what we're releasing, what maybe it's a new color and maybe it's purple, he can change the lighting to make them purple. So oh, it's kind wow. of fun. And um, over the holidays, we'll decorate this area when we're live to just keep our lives fresh and fun. And he's got our lighting and everything. And That's But this awesome. is my home. I spend about eight hours a day right here. It's messy. There's scissors and pieces of leather and bits of elastic. But the second I clean it, it's a mess anyway. So you know, it's kind of like a wood man's workbench. It's never clean. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know? exactly. You don't clean. want it to be clean. Right. right? If, if it's clean, it means I'm not busy. And so I'd rather it be full of orders and busy with stuff. But do you want to show him um, Jeff's area? Yeah. You know, he's not going to like it, but it's, he's not <laughs> as uh, you thought my side was disorganized. But I will say this part right here is pretty cool. The way he's been able to kind of organize this. These are concrete tubings, um, just concrete tubes that obviously 
because they're for concrete are pretty strong. Mm -hmm. So leather is very, very heavy. Um, so this is where we keep all of our solid and metallic colors for the most part. Um, he likes to cut them into panels that are the width of our machine back here. Um, so it's easier for him to lay it on the cutting machine. And then this is where we have leathers that are currently on the website, leathers that may have been removed from the website but are still within that like three week production time. Um, same for here. These are like as we have a little bit extra, a little bit extra. Um, and then again, it just, we cut, this has a system where we kind of rotate the shelves a little bit to keep whatever's current close. This is one of our newer releases that we just released on Friday, which is pretty cool. Two different types of tie dye, which is kind of fun, but yeah. And this is where he sits and cuts all of his stuff. He's got more concrete tubing under here because we have you know, pretty limited space. So you have to kind of maximize every part of it. He's got more up on the top. Um, so there's some organization I feel like in here, but it's, <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, yeah. it's, pretty, it's pretty packed for what we've got in here. So inevitably I would like, you know, in a future space that's bigger, a big wall where it's just a leather wall full of colors and right. oh, it would be so amazing. So where can people find you? So we're all.com, bearsoulsmocks.com. Um, everything that's available is there. Our, we're, you know, we're not a website that closes down or is only taking order. We're all day, every day. And uh, we keep it pretty regularly updated with new prints, new styles, new stuff. We've got apparel coming out soon. Oh, so good. We'll, we'll, workout we'll gear. Oh, we're, we're calling it bear wear. Oh, bear wear. That yeah. is awesome. So we've tried to like keep bear in everything we've done. So Bear Souls obviously is where the mock started when we implemented bags. Um, we call them the bear bag. And the we do little leather cuff bracelets and those are bear bands and bear wear. Oh wow. And actually a customer came up with that. So we were oh. like, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> we'll do it. Well, congratulations so, on your success. You. No, thank you for having me. I'm glad you guys could come out and see it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching to see where the empire goes. We'll be ready. Hopefully, hopefully up, right? All right. Thank you <laughs> Peace, so much. Paula.